Showtime. It- <laughs> hey, Shannon Heaton here. And Matt Heaton over here. Welcome to the virtual guided session. Come one, come all, all welcome here. We're gonna play tunes not too fast. Reminder to self, Mm -hmm. not too fast. And uh, we're going to welcome all of you to Maria first in the house, or Arthur uh, even earlier. Welcome, welcome to Maria in the UK. Welcome to Bob in Wisconsin. Hello, our friend Arthur. Uh, I do believe you were Prems, even though in the chat it looks like Maria was first. I'm not sure. It's all very confusing. It's all very exciting is what it is. And Alexis, I'm glad that you stopped by to say hi, and maybe we'll see you later on in the when this uh, live stream is archived, my friend. And to Carrie, hi in Florida. Hope your internet connection and all your connections are smooth <laughs> today. Hi, Alex in China. Good to have you live with us always. And Jennifer, my friend in Ypsilanti, hello and welcome. Hello to the water tower there. And to Adele in Halifax, I'm sorry that you have a cold, and I'm glad that we can share this time together with no risk of illness to any of our participants here. Uh, To Margie, hi and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Mary in North Carolina. Hi, Ted in Ontario. And Marco and Jeanette in Italy. Curious about the new cat. That's right. Will you uh, model the sweet new small humidifier for the plants and the instruments? This has been really a godsend. It's adorable. Very cute. Maybe we can feature it prominently on the table. Okay. Um, along with the new sconces. More on those in a bit. Uh, to Gilda, hello and welcome to you. Hi, Mike in Oregon. And hi to Julie down the road and to John. Hello, welcome. Hi, Claudia in Chicago, chilly Chicago. And um, Julie, this is so exciting. So how did your talk go at your conference? Exciting that the VGS was part of your discussion. Um, Hey, friends, we're causing ripples. Isn't that great? And Ray in Albany, hey, and welcome to you. I'm so glad to have you joining us. now but in boston this morning hey in our neck of the woods um we have a concert tonight in lexington otherwise we'd meet meet up with you for a session um i wonder what's happening what sessions are happening today is saturday so head on over to the druid uh 3 p.m in inman square that'll be fun ray um steve the pigeon hi to you in scotland elena in santa clarita hi to shane in ireland nice to see you johnny in los angeles wayne in the peg um and mary it is so nice to be with y'all and with you uh and to julie hello and welcome to you joining us from tennessee love the tune that you posted the jig that you posted your composition beautiful on the facebook page and hey to rudy in switzerland hello and welcome hey mike in ohio hey lenore in uh, new jersey and larry in maryland welcome to you phyllis greetings and nice to see you again elena and berta hello to you and welcome glad you're joining us hey to paul in jp there's also speaking of jp a nice session going on on saturday afternoons i think it's around 5 p.m at the brandon bn Mm. Um, on Center Street there in JP. Yo, hey, and good to be with you as well. Thanks for joining us from the car. Nice to see you again. Hi, Niall in Berlin. Hi to Peter in San Diego. Always wonderful to have you joining us. And to Margo, nice to see you again. Hi in Chicago. Vivian in Michigan. Hey, and welcome. A foot of snow and more on the way. Loic, hello, and welcome back. Good to have you participating today. And, uh, oh, that's, I'm sorry, Adele, that um, you're not feeling well in the whole house. That's, uh, but at least you're all in it together. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Jenny, I'm so glad that you've just arrived. Hi to you. I hope that you're creating lots of beautiful artwork uh, this season. Hi, Michael in Odenwald. Nice to be back. Uh, Nice to have you back. And hi to Andrea. Hi to Dat, uh, thanks for joining us and have a good Thanksgiving to you as well. Luis in Brazil, hello and welcome to Wes and Julie in Maryland. So wonderful, we got a nice house of players today. Katrina, glad to have you joining us on the feet. Um, so we have dancers as well. Hi in Maine to you and to your mom. And uh, to Neil in Ohio, hey and welcome. Elizabeth in Waltham, Diana in California, and Roger in Vermont. Hey friends, so great to have you joining us. So we're gonna start off with the lovely Jimmy Ward's jig in G, simple, sweet, good warm up. Um, One, two, here we go. Oh, it sounds like this. That one there, yep. Mm. One, two, one, two.
lovely, lovely jig and lovely to have folks joining us and playing with us. That is the idea, of course. True. With this virtual guided session. Guided because we're the leaders, because you're the only ones that you can actually hear. Um, but I can also, I really can hear, I can tap into other folks playing these tunes, us uh, all playing these together. That is the beauty of a living tradition, right? This is a living tradition, meaning people are still adding to the music, meaning that this music is still currently being circulated, meaning that we are still adding stories to, meaning to all of these tunes. It's a work in progress. And so it's important for us to show up and uh, to share these tunes in the company of other people. It isn't the same as like a concert or like a video. I'm happy to make videos to help folks learn tunes, but this is meant to be, um, you know, music in community. So thank you for being a big part of that. It doesn't work without the community. Uh, Kathleen in Toronto, hey, to Toronto, glad that you're joining on the bazooki. That's awesome. And to Vivian, welcome. And to James in London, so glad that you're here and exciting that you were at Baron's live stream earlier. Great. Um, of course, our friend Baron Collins Hill has a lovely uh, 1 p.m. Eastern time mm -hmm. live stream on Mando Lessons. That's right. Um, really great community there as well. So happy to have some over lap and um, Carolyn in New Brunswick hey and welcome we got a good Canada Canada showing here hi Frank mm -hmm. in Germany nice to have you joining us and to Ken in California good to see you again and uh, I think um, uh, to Anton I'm, I'm sorry that I am not great about reading but um, great to have you joining us I think in Russia and um, to Roseanne hey my neighbor and my friend Roseanne our guided session hero um, who started this whole thing back in the day in mm -hmm. person Rebecca in Colorado hi and welcome to you and um, you're right Arthur that is a good crayons kind of a jig um, lovely good idea and Carolyn, that's great. You learned it from Kevin, that last tune. So um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Carrying on with some reels. The Otter's Holt and Donald Blue. The blue streak in the um, painting matches the, the matches the cat. That's right. Look mm. at that. It's perfect. It's, or do I match? We all match. Oh, it's been matches. really coordinated. <laughs> so the first tune here is the Otter's Holt, that great junior Korean invention. <laughs> Lovely tune mm -hmm. into Donna Blue. Mm. All right. Still on the bazooki? I'm going to stay on the bazooki. I love it. Okay. Yeah. You count us off. Uh, one, two, one, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. 
too late. I was going to say go around again, but uh, that's all right. I was ready. And I was ready for it. I know. You always are. Uh, go on. I was going to say that that tune, Donald Blue, was a tune that I attempted on the banjo. If anybody heard my last Irish music stories podcast episode, uh, I did just the beginning of Donald Blue on the banjo. And that you did was a, a bang up job of it. <laughs> well, I don't know. I just enjoyed playing it a little bit, finding it on the banjo for a second, just the first couple of phrases. It's a lovely, handy tune on the banjo, I gotta say. And I also like um, Carrie's idea of, you know, uh, welcoming humid a cat. Oh, humidity cat's better than humidity cat. Isn't yeah, it? but I mean, this is the thing. This virtual guided session mm. and this community of people have been a part of a, welcoming a lot of weird little things. Remember <laughs> all the objects. elephants, all the objects that Matt found at the neighbor's trash, the giveaway pile, and it was one elephant after another. It was endless. And Jane has been with us. Jane was um, named. Uh, so maybe we should put humidity cat. With, Jane oh, with the, and owl. the owl, yeah. I don't know if we'll be able to see oh, once I sit down. Similar, but... but look at that! Yeah. Every yeah. once in a while, I'll move over yeah. so we can see them. Yeah, you know. Hey. Speaking of seeing things, um, yes. is it easy to bump that exposure back up to where it was before? Um, I don't know. I can try. Yeah, we're, doing, uh, we're playing with some settings here. Where did it go? Uh, uh, it was it was that. This makes for thing. really good TV. Yeah, it is good TV. There, there we, we go. go. That's a little brighter. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay, um, the cat's meow. That would be a good one for the future. But now we're going to play through the beautiful, beautiful Michael Carney's jig. So we had a really great uh, couple of Zoom classes this month and um, our third Thursday Zoom class. And one of the tunes we covered was Michael Carney's. So we're going to try that. This is a beauty that I learned from my friend Joe Desarn, who learned it from our friend Tina Eck, who learned it from our other friend Josephine Marsh and Claire. And uh, apparently Mike Carney was a piper at the turn of the last century in New York. He came from Mayo, emigrated to New York. Um, so we're going to try that. It's a beauty. It goes. That's how it starts. Mm. It's kind of E minor, kind of D. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely kind of E minor, kind of D. Yeah. <laughs> and then. The cash jig, which kind of starts a little G. like Jimmy Ward's. That's why yeah. I wrote the first couple notes on mm -hmm. this piece of paper. So that's where we're going. That's where the second tune will be. Um, before we play, though, I uh, just want to welcome Steve in Pennsylvania. I'm glad that you're joining us, my friend, and to Theo in Austin. Hey, wonderful to have you joining us. Are you visiting or are you living there now? How exciting. Um, let's see. And Steve, how amazing that you also were learning Donald Blue this week. Perfect timing. It was Great for tune. you. It's a good tune. So here we go. Let me know how it goes, did Zoom we, did friends. Did we mention this is a three-part tune? Oh, yes, it is. A three-part tune. Mm. We didn't. Yeah, it's three parts. <laughs> I'll try to do better about telling you when we change, too. One, two, ready. <laughs>
for the beautiful chords in G and then an A. Last minute inspiration there. Mm. And also the lighting. Good idea. Did it, it worked? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I okay, think good. so. Good. We're getting and there. folks are commenting on my hair. You know, it's more and more going gray here and I'm just letting it go. And um, so Jennifer, I'm glad that you like it. That's high praise. I'll, I'll go with it. You know, you never know what to do, but you try. You try everything. <laughs> Throw it all against the wall, see what sticks. Um, so we're I, gonna... might, I might stop dyeing mine gray pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> I've been dying at gray for, for gradually. Um, and that is such a sweet story. Anyway, Elizabeth, that you were hitchhiking in France and you got your, um, you met your little friend, Freddy, um, from Dusseldorf. That's awesome. <laughs> Amazing. And Theo, that's exciting that you're working on your dissertation. Good luck. And to our friend Laura, who tunes in sometimes, I believe that you just recently um, defended your dissertation. So um, very, very exciting That times. is such a fascinating term for that, isn't it? Like... <laughs> You know? It's very combative. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> it is. Makes it more like a game, though. Uh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> it is. It's, it's a game. It's all a game, really. It's all a game. It mm -hmm. is. It is. Mm -hmm. You know, we need, needn't take ourselves too seriously, I suppose. Mm -hmm. um, and that's amazing, George, that you went to this weekly village session for 20 years. They played the same tunes in the same oh, wow. order. Oh, my goodness. Well, so if you we arrived at 920, you would have just missed the cash jig. That's amazing, George. I, I will say, uh, for a while there, I was doing the uh, Friday night at the Burren session, uh, and in the back room there was a cover band. And, uh, like, I would, you know, we would sort of wasn't like an official break but you know after like an hour or an hour and 15 minutes or something there was usually an informal break where people would you know get up and and you know either smoke or pee or do both or whatever and every time i went in the bathroom they were playing the same song and i couldn't figure it out and then i realized like oh because i'm always in the bathroom at the same time and that is when they play jenny eight six seven five three oh nine oh my gosh that's so. amazing <laughs> that is amazing that would be a job um now speaking of you know sort of uh not having the same thing every week for sure at the virtual guided session we have a different set every week yeah, mm. a set of tunes um i still do try very much to rotate the common core tunes mm. so if we were just just doing a session that wasn't aimed at a lot of different levels and sort of uh giving people a chance to play along hopefully common enough common tunes and enough gems in there that might not be as common um we would have much more turnover with the tunes, I gotta say. So I'm trying, I'm trying, even though there is a lot of new stuff happening all the time, and there are a lot of tunes out there, uh, you'll see from week to week, there is some repetition. Uh, that's what I'm aiming for. I'm very mindful of that, friends. Mm -hmm. So, um, yay, gray, hombre, is where it's at. Hey, Antin in Alaska, thanks for joining us with the chattering magpies. I'll bet they sound really awesome. Matt, you should get a purple streak. I think it would be amazing. And Rebecca, um, there's an opponent at the defense. Oh my goodness. Thanks. Finland, you are upping the game. <laughs> um, and <laughs> Somebody just like heckles you the whole time. <laughs> so, like, no, wrong. Right? Is that what we're doing? Eight, six, seven, yeah, five, yeah, three, yeah. oh, nine, yeah. Nine. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we're gonna play. I already wrote it in the chat. I yeah, gave it away. Do the Linster. That one mm. into the Dunmore Lasses with the purple streak. One, two, here we go.
drama. Always a joy to play with Matt Heaton. It was really fun to have our friend John Coyne join us for the last VGS as well. And you were missed. Um, good, good. I was, in, I was in Fiddle Hell. Literally. Literally. That's what the yeah, festival the is called. called Fiddle Hell. <laughs> and it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. And Petter, hi in Norway. Hello to you and the family. Glad you're joining us. Speaking of guitars, uh, happy to have you. I wonder if you're, um, uh, yeah. I was going to say, I was wondering if you're in Norway or in Germany, but we just it's found a, out. Yeah. Yes, indeed. <laughs> um, and Daph, it's exciting that you're gearing up for the World Cup. Yes, going to be very, very exciting. I don't even know really like who's playing or anything, but it is a great game. It is a great game. The game of football is a wonderful it's some, yeah, game. It's some, yeah. Yes. Um, I love Carrie put, being put in the company of Bonnie Raitt. Very nice. Do you remember <laughs> the last time that we saw Bonnie Raitt? We were at Julie's gig. We, oh, yeah, were, in we were in Scotland. We were going to see a friend perform, and right in front of us was Bonnie Raitt. We were like, wow, that looks just like Bonnie Raitt. And she turned around, and she started <laughs> talking. I was like, oh, hey, Bonnie, Bonnie it's Raitt. Bonnie Raitt. <laughs> yeah. um, and Daniel, what flute is this? This flute was made for me in 1997 is when I got it um, by Patrick Allwell. It's a Pratt & model Blackwood flute, um, and I love it. I've loved it since the beginning of having it. It's just a wonderful instrument. Love it. And I am sorry that I can't read Cyrillic, so thanks for letting me know. It's Daniel, and we're so happy that you're joining us. Did you have something to say, Manny? No. Mm. I mean, I could say something. <laughs> Horn pipes? Is it, uh, yeah. the it is time for the horn pipes. It is time for the horn pipes. It is time for the horn pipes. And we will be playing the fairy's horn pipe and the boys of Blue Hill. Yes. So the first one is um, how? In G. Very much in G. Mm. And the second tune is. Are we in tune with reality? I'm here? sure we. I feel it. I, Do? I'll check. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling it is not the same as checking. Yeah, That's we, reality. you got to have faith. Tuning is all about faith. And yet you were not in tune with reality. So the fixed pitch in I am too. I'm totally in tune. Look at me. The computer says I'm in tune. Okay. Dum do la di 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 do la di Ready? One, two, ready.
whatever else. Uh, and uh, if you encountered a stare at Matt like this at one point, you got it. You got it. I was lost. I didn't know if we were going on to the B part or if it was another A part. And you said B. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for having my back. But in case you were worried, friends, that was what was going on. I had no idea where I was in the tune. You knew. You knew. Thank you. Um, so uh, I do like the idea, Steve, that you're playing along with the tunes that you know as your repertoire goes. And then you also just do a listening as learning kind of approach. I say Sounds this often. Perfect. I do say this often. But my friend Laurel Martin uh, once said... Uh, so beautifully she said it so perfectly she said it on the irish music stories podcast maybe it was the one about sessions or about handed maybe it was the one called handed down episode five maybe <laughs> but laurel said sometimes we forget that listening is a thing to do just listening you know not just like putting stuff on and going for a run or doing some dishes or whatever but just listening is an important act all alone so i think there's a lot of power in as you say um you know steve the listening is learning approach um and just the listening approach mm. i should do more of it we all should we all should and Yoe, I agree. Michael Carney's with chords, cool, huh? And that didn't just happen immediately. Yeah, I played no. the tune with you in advance. Yeah. Because I was like, this is a pretty uh, nebulous tune. tune. I'm not yeah. exactly sure. I'd come up with a couple of chords that I thought worked on the piano, mm -hmm. and then we sat down to play them, and it was like, I don't know. They were. It was like too much changes, mm -hmm. as it always is when I come up with chords on the piano. <laughs> piano approach is a little different from guitar. Um, but... I love what you came up with in, well, in Michael Carney's. Do not throw that at me, Michael. <laughs> um, so is the flute tunable? It is. Do you want to say hi to folks? <laughs> Come on in. We, we have some Come off on stage in action and here. Show, show. <laughs> <laughs> the, oh. <laughs> so flute tunable. Yes. you. It's amazing. Unbelievable. Um, you make it longer or shorter. The little yep. thing goes So a there. longer instrument, a longer tube gets lower, is mm -hmm. lower, and then a shorter tube is higher, of course. And so, um, yes, that is how we tune the flute. Pull in, pull out. Uh, jazz hands. Thank Indeed, for, that was super that. Yes. jazz hands. It was very good. I enjoyed the chords very much, Matt. I'm glad. And Juan, um, I'm glad you love that Pratt and flute. I love this Pratt and flute very much. Mm. And Scott in Newfoundland, hello to you. And Doug, where is Blue Hill? Well, there is there is a Blue Hill in uh, in Boston, but I doubt that's the one it's written for. Mm -hmm. um, so we don't know. Yeah, we don't know. I'm sorry. We, we did not we do our homework. We make something up, but we, we don't did know. not do our homework. Maybe somebody else. Yeah, knows. somebody else looked that up. Um, in the meantime. It's We're going to play some offertory tunes for you. I'm so excited about these. So in our Zoom class, in which we learned Michael Carney's, we had a little discussion, too, about Liz Carroll tunes. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes, uh, they're very fiddle-centric. This is a lovely tune that Liz wrote, which is called Aileen Delands. And she's a flute player, Aileen is. And so it's a really flute-friendly tune. <laughs> so we're going to surround Liz's tune. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a Liz Carroll sandwich. Mm -hmm. With In Tune With Reality, which is a tune that I wrote... Um, in response to this whole virtual guided session, like, honestly, friends, are we in tune with reality? Matt Heaton, are you in tune with I'm reality? I'm pretty sure I'm in tune with reality. I say that meaning, like, are we A440 yeah. for the fixed pitch instruments, but also, really, yeah. what is reality? We don't know. We're it's very good. thin. Pretty good. And so, and the, oh, well, go on. Tell about the other tunes. Well, and when about. I'm tuning, yeah. mm -hmm. play a chord. That's oftentimes like a little tuning lick that I do because I'm trying to tune relatively. In fact, I just made a video. I just made a video about tuning relatively. Mm. I'm going to publish it right after the virtual guided session. You're kidding. It's, it's going to drop. <laughs> it is. It is. But that's kind of my tuning lick. Is... So that's how I start the tune. So in tune with reality and Aileen Delan, Aileen Delan by mm. Liz Carroll. And then the brown weasel, which I wrote for my friend Rachel. And so this is this is the offertory, which is our pass the hat portion. So if you would like if you would like to throw something in the tip jar, virtually, um, there is a PayPal link and a Venmo link coming your way. And we are very and, grateful yeah. for your support. And if that's not accessible to you today, that is no worries at all. We're happy to have each and every one of you here. So here we go. Ready? <laughs>
just how I wanted that to feel. Oh, good. That was awesome. Good, good, good. Love that middle tune. Love it. And I love that sweet approach to it. Mm, good. Yay. And, that was and, fun. And friends, I'll mention, if you're in the Boston area and would like to hear that set again uh, this evening, we will be playing a concert in Lexington tonight. Uh, so and Harmony gonna, on the Green. Yeah, and the Harmony on the Green series. <laughs> and uh, so come on out. Tell your friends. And we'll play that set. Yeah, we will. We, we will. will. That was yeah, fun. I'm okay, I'm in. I'm in. That's a. Uh, that's it. That's yeah. it. Mm. And Jennifer said she's feeling the Liz Carroll energy. So hey, yay! Um, and Sirin, thank you. Um, I think that that means that you're enjoying it. Uh, <laughs> wonderful to have you joining us at any rate. And uh, Shannon, flute is a talkative flute. Hey, that's so sweet. Did you see what the camera just did? That was really weird. But that's really, really nice. Um, storyteller flute. How sweet. Yoy, that's a very nice thing. And to Barney in Birmingham, thanks for joining us. Wonderful to have you. Um, and also to Karen and Charlie Bird. Yay, I'm glad you were able to play along with Michael Carney's. And um, yes, I really think this tune does get in there, especially learned in the company of other people. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Ted, hup, indeed, the hup emojis. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna carry on now with some jigs with the beautiful Southwest Wind. This is a this was a name your tune selection some time ago, and it's in in harmony. Speaking of harmony, um, and then what are we doing it into? The in the Bog. Okay, so the first one is. Oh, that's a very pretty tune. Into. In C major and very manageable, even on the keyless flutes. Yep. So. Also a beauty. And I will I do to D not too fast. One, two.
lovely nice jigs. So They're nice both one. very lovely. Yeah. Lovely jigs. Lovely. Yeah. <clears throat> and also, I love um, the idea of jazz hands. And then the truckley howl. Mm. The truckley howl, which I is mean, this invention of Seamus Ennis. You know, that the little Lou Rakan would give the truckley howl. Whatever that means. I think what Something. it meant is jazz hands. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did some jazz hands. <laughs> I think so. I think that was after doing a bit too many jazz hands, perhaps. <laughs> uh, what a great thing, though. The Truckley Howl. Boys of Blue Hill composed by Miko Russell? I don't know that Miko Russell wrote The Boys of Blue Hill. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Maybe. We'll have to look into it. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah, Michael Russell, that, but... the whistling ambassador. What a yeah. wonderful, pleasant, charming uh, person and mm. associated with many tunes. wonder if mm. he's just associated with The Boys of Blue Hill. I would imagine that was the tune that he played, but maybe he did compose it. We'll have to look we'll into to that. Look Thank you. Yeah, you and it, I just love this uh, Yoe saying good job to um, Karen for getting through Michael Carney's. I love the supportive community cheering each other on that is the way so let us cheer you on friends if you know one of these tunes or all of them or none of them glad you're here glad you're here in the company of all of us so we're going to carry on with some polkas that frank had Polka requested time. yes yes um hit me yes well we got to frank and i got together via the zoom and uh to to play polkas on the bazooki thank you very much and so we were talking about like different ways to approach this set because the first one's in e minor and the second one's in d and the third one's in a um and so the question is you know to capo or not to capo and so we're going to try not to capo and see how okay. we do yeah good and before we do jenny uh, i'm sorry <clears throat> for your loss you've just come back from awake i'm mm. sorry and i'll bet that was a beautiful tune the clergyman's lament is that by oh carolyn is that what you meant to say or mm. is it by that person might be a typo but anyway uh first one goes Hold it. second one is and the third one is the three parts. Yeah, it's Adrian. three parts. So give it a try. The the third one, if you don't know it, give it a try. It's just E D C A E D C A. A lot of that. Mm. If you do just that a bunch of times, it'll work out. So. But first E minor. Count us off. Yeah. One two one two. <laughs> Oh, 
That was an adventurous hey, ending. Yeah, Ooh, I was I like know. on a sled and I sort of crashed. <laughs> it was very exciting. Um, Uncapoed bazookies. Hey. Uncapoed bazooki mm. polkas. Unleashed well bazooki. done. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> All right. And Juan, Ruddle and Rose flute versus a Pratt. And I mean, typically, yeah, the Ruddle and Rose can have a quieter, sweeter sound, but really, you can make the Pratt and sound as sweet as you want. Your imagination is the only limit. Um, you can shape color on any flute. It doesn't really matter how big or small the holes are. Um, and you can really drive a uh, Ruddle and Rose. A uh, Ruddle and Rose can also have quite a lot of volume. The other thing, I mean, if you're talking about like a, a, an original Ruddle, they're all, they're all old, so there's a tremendous amount of variety between them, right? I mean, the differences between instruments would yep. be pretty huge. Yeah, but I think but he's also just like, talking about Pratt versus uh, oh, yeah, the, okay. the finger holes. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me for speaking out of turn about flutes. No, I like it. I like <laughs> that you would invest in this too. You know, you know. The thing about the Pratton for me, it's a bigger stretch, and I kind of like the effort of that. I kind of like the feeling of that. The Ruddle and Rose is awfully close together and sort of like delicate, and there's something a little earthy and like about the Pratton that is fun for me, but it's also what I'm accustomed to. I think you can play any way on any flute, really. Um, and Sergio and Julie and Lila, nice to have you joining us. It's been a while, and I hope that you and the family are doing well. How wonderful. And lots of names for those polkas. The Curl Races, We Won't Go Home Till Morning, and Nellie's is um, one set of uh, names, and I see others in the chat, so that is great. Love yeah, that. You wouldn't argue about any of the names. They're, no, they're... especially with um, tunes. Yeah. And Pete, I think you're right. Um, that which one is the song as well? Maybe all of them, right? Um, so we're going to sneak in before we finish. I promised um, Lenore that we would do cup of tea. So we're going to do it all okay. on its own, just the cup of tea. Oh, okay. Um, the cup of tea. I just, I'm just remembering this now. Sorry about that. Uh, I said I would do it, and then I didn't write it down and forgot. So that one, two, here we go. Like this I thought major yeah that means major <laughs> all right yes indeed sometimes Elizabeth the chat uh, the chat takes a second to post so if I post it right before I begin playing yeah, there's, there's a, little, a delay there's a little delay but it doesn't make it look like I'm posting it while Just I'm playing magic powers so she has Bluetooth the the flute has Bluetooth so she can actually type <laughs> while she's playing I do it with my feet yeah we're gonna end with the beautiful waltz Callan Lan the beautiful Welsh hymn mm. uh, and before we finish I want to thank each and every one of you for joining us and for joining one another and for offering encouragement and good vibes. 
It's getting a little cooler and darker, so just when, when, take when good back? care. When are we back? Is it uh, first? This is the third week, right? So this is the third week. We'll be back on December the, uh, I believe it'll be the third. Right. The, the date. Right. So. And I don't think that these are going to read right now. Oh, yes, they do. Holy smokes. You know, that. to brighten wow. the darker after early afternoons, friends. Here we go. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gramahagat, tapalat, merci beaucoup, trugare, arigat, oh, tru, sorry, I'm really, really messing it up. Go <laughs> Trugare, arigato gozaimas, muchas gracias, jinkoya, danke, danke schön, mille grazie, sie, sie, mgoi, chvalavam, toda, tusen tak, kam sahamida, evcharisto, chvalavam, esgari esko, tanya vad, kidos, natenda, shukran, Miigwech, yutva, spasiba, achehe, salamat, terima kasi, dioch, kusenem, mito brigada, gam un, kop kun naka, kop leider. Thank you so much, friends. Thanks for joining. And Alex, thanks for being here live with us. It means a lot. The time difference is profound. Mm -hmm. um, wonderful to have each and every one of you for the dear, dear Kalan Lan. Kalan Lan. Kalan Lan. I don't speak Welsh, clearly. <laughs> but I love this. everyone for joining us and thanks to my friends for weighing in on the placement of the sconces earlier this week over zoom <laughs> and to our friend matt for helping us install them so no. take good 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 care everyone not you matt not our other matt. friend no. matt yeah. all right take care friends see you on the first week of december <laughs>